Hey, it's me, Kelly, the Take Action Wom. I want to show you real quickly how I have been using TweetDeck to get more Twitter followers. Now, what's awesome about this is that not only is it helping me increase the number of people who are following me on Twitter, it's also helping me connect with people who are the people that I'm actually looking for. It's not just random people that have nothing in common with me. It's not like going out and paying somebody 25 bucks for 10,000 Twitter followers that you have no idea who they are and they don't care what you say. I'm actually using this method to connect with people who are interested in the things I'm interested in, people who are interested in what I blog about, and who are more likely to click through to my links and come and check out my blog posts. So, the first, the first thing I did was I thought of three keywords for my blog, which um, what I used here is uh, I used work, uh, hashtag work at home mom, WOM, hashtag Sam, stay at home mom, and hashtag blogging, because those are the things that I blog about. I blog about being a work at home mom and blogging. Um, and I use stay at home mom because a lot of stay at home moms are looking for ways to make money online, and that's what I do in my blog, is I teach them how to blog and create an income. So, how did I create these columns, you may be asking. Well, that's why I'm making this video. So let's come right over here, and it's super simple. If you see this little magnifying glass, that's your search. All I have to do is click on that, and I'm going to go ahead and make one for WordPress, which you can see I already had it ready. Um, what we're going to do here is we'll create a search for the for the hashtag WordPress and it'll help us find any time that someone someone does a tweet about WordPress it will come up in our column I wanted to show all tweets I only wanted to show English and this is really important you want to be very specific unless you're unless you know how to blog in a bunch of different languages you want to make sure that you only pick the language that you're using um, or you pick the language that you're using not only we want to exclude retweets there we go excluded retweets and that's all there is to it add column and boom there it is now you see I already had one here with the same keyword because I was practicing for this we can just remove that and here we go now once I've got this here once I've got these columns that are connected to my blog, you know, the keywords that I would want on my blog, when I find tweets from people that I'm interested in, I just come through here and favorite them. Super easy. You favorite those things, and what happens is when you favorite them, the people that you favorite are going to say, oh, someone favorited my, my tweet, and they're going to come and look at you, and a certain percentage of those people are going to follow you because you favorited them. Um, I go into more detail about how this system works over on my blog, which you can click the link underneath this video. Really quick though, if you do not have TweetDeck, you can also do this just in Twitter itself online. So let me show you. Yes, I was watching David Letterman. Let's go to Twitter here. And you would do the same thing. You would come up here to the search you would pick a search phrase that you wanted, not what, there we go. Pick a search phrase that you wanted, and then you would just go through and do the same thing. Look at the tweets that come up, and go through and favorite the ones that you want. It's really simple. And, and really, that's all I'm doing to find people who follow me. It's been super simple, and there's a lot more information about how to do it on my blog, so click the link underneath this video and learn all about it. Hope to see you there.